in this episode as well we are going to proceed ahead and again convert the string which is in the lower case to upper case but this time our string certainly can have blank characters as well in between so what i mean to say is that if the input is like this i would expect the output like this i should though say that the program of my previous episode was not capable of handling such strings which had blank spaces in between i would also insist all my viewers of this episode to stop viewing this episode and first watch the previous episode if this episode really has to be completely clear to you and for those who have watched let's proceed ahead and see how to achieve this task i would again start by creating a new string object which has all the lower case characters and also space in between you know as long as the data is present within the object i as a programmer would not be able to directly access the data and hence i am going to extract the data and place it inside an array y also i would compute the size of the array since i have to traverse the entire length of the array i would also require a loop index variable and hence i would create a variable i and initialize it to 0 not just that if you recollect in the previous episode i had told you as to how we can convert the lower case to upper case and precisely this was the statement which helped me to do the conversion but this time you have to be careful you should not be applying this formula whenever your y of i happens to be a space because it is meaningless to convert a space from upper case to lower case or lower case to upper case it is just meaningless in other words what it goes to show is before applying this formula you have to check if y of i happens to be a space and you must apply this if and only if y of i is not equal to space so all that i really have to do is to put this extra if condition which checks that if y of i is not equal to space only then i would do this type of a conversion this is the small change that i really need to make in my program in order to make my program accept even such strings which have spaces anyway let's apply and write the complete program this happens to be the complete logic and when i'll apply this logic this is what happens at the zeroth location the first the second third fourth fifth and the sixth location what i have is not the space and hence the formula is applied at all those places and hence we would be able to convert the lower case to the upper case but when i value is 7 at that location there is a space and because there is a space obviously the formula wouldn't be applied rather the plus plus i would position the loop index variable to the next position and the activity would continue and as i reaches the end of the array you can notice that the entire string has got converted from the lower case to the upper case anyway how the full program looks like let's explore this is the complete program and when i'll execute this is the output so i think you have understood as to how we can convert the string which is in lower case to upper case even if it contains spaces but in the interviews you would be asked another kind of question wherein you shouldn't be converting the entire string from lower case to upper case rather convert only the first character of every word from the lower to the upper case which means that if the input is like this we want the output like this how to code such a program i'll tell you in my next episode